All right, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the I can push this word with true sincerity and with charity. Uh, we the brothers from Great Millstone, Chicago. I'm Yadaya. I'm uh, Shamaya. And we come to a quick video, basically, man. Uh, somebody has to have the truth, man. You know, the uh, you know the Most High gave us the truth, man. It's only one truth, man. And these religions don't have it right at all, man. Uh, Christianity been around for hundreds of years, man. All these different religions, all this been around for hundreds of years. Yeah, we the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I said at the bottom of the barrel, man. So if they had the answers and stuff, man, why, 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 why ain't, uh, why ain't any prophecies really came to pass already yet, man? Uh, you know, uh, this is a quick one in Matthews. Uh, it's black here. It's Matthew 24. This is Matthew 24. This is Matthew 24 and 19. Actually, it's a lot here. 24. I think it's 14. Okay, this is Matthew 24 and 14. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come, man. If you go into the history of all these different religions, man, they've been around for hundreds of years preaching the same thing, yet we still, the world is still on, the, on this path, man. You know, the, the, the Son of Man ain't came back yet, man. Yahweh Shai, man. And also, it's it's a hundred, it's billions of Christians on this planet, yet the elect is not sealed yet, man. So how can that be the truth, man? Many many people have died from these different religions, yet the Most High has not came back yet, man. So how can those be the truth, man? You know, uh, uh, we we obviously know that it's one truth, man. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this uh, First John two and twenty, man, because even in all these different uh, doctrines and stuff, they don't have all the answers. They have some answers. They know how some stuff happened, but they don't have the hundred percent truth, man. Come on. Uh, this First John, First John two and twenty. Uh, this is First John two and twenty. It says, "But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things, man." So this just tells you, man, that it's a hundred percent truth, and somebody that somebody being the Hebrew Israelites, the real ones that the Most High is dwelling with, has that truth to know all things, man. We understand why these, why we in the position that we in, man. We understand that we are the Negro, the uh, the Hebrew Israelites, and not so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. I'm gonna go and see what that word "unction" is in the uh, in the Greek. Uh, John. John. First John two and twenty. It's first John two and twenty and that word unction is strong's uh G uh G five five four five. It says it's it's uh charisma. It says anointing unction, uh and uh the sp special endowment of the Holy Spirit, uh, uh anointing unction. So basically man, somebody has to be uh, the spirit got to be put on somebody had his truth, man. It was put on, on, on to the, uh, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man. And that's simply the truth, man. Because with the doctrine that, that, that was taught to them by the Holy Spirit, man, we figure out that we are the, the Israelites. We understand that uh, the uh, 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 Salaki, we understand the prophecies that's written in this, man. It's only one truth out there in Christianity, baptism, uh, Muslim, Islam, all that is not the truth, man. You know? Uh, sorry. I got some. <clears throat> this is John 6 and verse 63. Because, hey, man, it's a spirit that comes with this word, man. All right? You just don't open up the Bible and just start reading it like it's a it's a normal uh, textbooks, man. All right? This this word has an actual spirit on it, man. All right? And this word is connected to a certain people. Okay? So this is John 6 and 63. It is a spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you... They are spirit and they are life, all right? These words have a spirit on them, man, all right? And these words were only given to uh, one nation of people. This is Psalms, uh, Psalms 147 and verse 19, because, hey, man, this word has to return unto one one nation of people, and then the end will, uh, will come, man, all right? The word, this, this word and the correct doctrine of this word was not given to the so-called white man, man. All right, it was not given to uh, 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 the Arab. All right, it was not given to any of these other nations, man. 
All right, it was only given to you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Uh -huh. Psalms 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. All right, man. We are the only nation on this planet that, ha that, that has had this word, man. All right, had the understanding and the breakdown of this word, man. All right. Any other nation cannot understand this word. All right, and I got one more uh, precept. Um, make sure this. Oh, kind. This is uh, Deuteronomy 4 and verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh my power commanded me that ye should go, uh, that, that ye should do so in the land, whether, whether ye go to possess it. Keep, uh, keep therefore, and do them. For this is your wisdom in your understanding in the sight of the nations. So, hey, man, this word is, is our wisdom and our understanding in the sight of these nations, man. All right, all these other nations out here. All right, all these other nations will not have the understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, it's complete, utterly impossible. And it says, we shall, uh, we shall hear all these statues and say, surely this, this great nation is wise and understanding people. All right, man. Because, hey, amen, we, we are the only wise and understanding uh, people on this planet, man. All right, we are the only true people that can have wisdom and understanding. All right, these other, these other people do not have wisdom and understanding, man. They're fools, man. All right, lean on to their own understanding. All right, only an uh, 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 Israelite can have understanding of, uh, uh, of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai's doctrine, man. All right, not a heathen. God. Uh, I got one more verse. And it says, For what nation is, is there so great who have uh, Yahweh so nigh unto them as, as Yahweh our power is in all things that we that we call uh, upon him? For what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous in all this law which I set before you this day? All right, none. All right, that's the answer. None, man. Besides Israel, Yasharala. Okay, man, no other nation ha has has this understanding, man. All right, Psalms 147 just proved that in this Deuteronomy 6, man. So this word has to be preached throughout the world by Israelites. God, man, it don't make no sense that you going to the white man, you know, the enemy, enemies of the Most High, man. It makes no sense you going to them for your doctrine, man, and these the, uh, the old, theological uh, schools and stuff, man. It, it makes no sense, man, you know. Uh, all these different religions taught our people basically was learned hopelessness, man. I was dealing with some couple of Jakes up in my school, man, and basically they just they oh I'm Christian, you know, you know I I don't know that somebody got the truth. I don't know who it is, man. They don't even believe in the truth. They don't even believe that it is a truth, man. Basically, man, they just say oh this religion that's how it is. That's it, man. That's not true, man. They these are different religions. They didn't teach our people nothing, man. But I got a quick scripture right here. It says uh, I'm gonna start at this is Baruch two, and I'm gonna start at uh. Verse 30, it says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, man. And we in the land of our captivity right now, man. Come. And we remembering ourselves, man. It came down, and now it, the truth came back into the, wor to the world, man. You know, the gospel went back to the four corners of the earth, man. That the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the real children of Israel, man. And that's the truth, man. It says, in the land of their captivity, they should remember themselves, man. So we coming back into remembrance of our heritage, man. It says, and shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear. Meaning he will give us the understanding to understand the real truth. It says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. We actually came back into the uh, to our heritage and figured out the right name, Yahweh. That's Come right, on, man. It says, uh... And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And we coming back into our heritage, which means come back to these law, statutes, commandments, man, and uh, keeping these uh, high holy days, man. It says, and I will bring them into again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and shall and they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Because, man, when the Lord, you how shall I come back, man? It ain't going to be no more of this BS, man. That's right. We're going to be made the lords of this earth, man, as we were uh, ordained to be. It says, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people, and I will no more drive them 
drive uh, Slaki, my people of Israel, out of the land that I have given them, man. And we ain't gonna be going off no more. But all this can't happen until the true doctrine which we have is preached, man. And this this, this prophecy wouldn't happen until in, in Christianity, man, or by Muslim, or by Jehovah Witnesses, man, or Seven Day Advantage, man, or Lutheran, man. None of this stuff, none of the prophecy, Slaki, none of the prophecies will come to pass, man. If if if, uh, if if the truth is really up in them other schools, man. You know, it's only one truth, man. It's simple as that. That's right. Uh, uh, you got something else? Uh, and you got some? Yeah. God. This is uh, <clears throat> Sirach 27 and verse uh, 9. It says, The birds will resort will resort unto their like. So will truth return unto them that practice in her. All right, man? So hey, this truth is going to return to them that practice in her. All right? Who who, who are the only ones that, that have ever practiced in, in, in this word? All right, let me get um, Second Ezra's uh, three and verse thirty-one. It says, "I do not, re I do not remember how this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Sinai, or is there any other people that know it that know it be besides Israel, or what generation have so believed thy covenants as Jacob?" None, no one. And it says, And yet their reward uh appear it not, and their labor hath no fruit. So so I have so I have gone here and there through the heathen, all right, who hey man, these heathens push uh, uh, uh these false religions, these false uh ideology, these false doctrines on our people, man. All right, but hey it says I have gone I have gone here and there through the heathen. And, and, and I see that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. All right, man? These heathens do not think upon the commandments of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man, because they don't have the word, man. All right? They flow in wealth. They, they, they're they always uh, uh, uh happy. They're always up, man. All right? Hey, man, we always at a lower state, man. All right? But these heathens, all right, they they, they, they always um. Uh, uh, have 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 a, a sort a source of resources, man. We don't have anything, man. All right, but they hey, they, they don't think upon the ways of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, man. All right, because it's not for them. And it says, wait, wait, thou therefore upon wickedness now in the balance, and there and there is also that dwell the world, and uh, and so shall thy name, so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. All right, man. And it says, or or when. Was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. All right, man. So this word is only is only going to return unto uh, uh, Israelites, man. All right, the true doctrine is only is only going to return unto Israelites. All right, it's not going to return unto these heathens, man. Because they have not known the ways of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. They have not kept his precepts. Yeah, this is Ezekiel 37 for you. Time. Is some more in that? Uh, no, that's it. This is Ezekiel 37 and 1. It says, The hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones uh -huh. and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And, all, and those dry bones are people that don't have the truth. Israelites that don't have the truth, man. And lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Yahweh power, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. So Khan, he said, Prophesy unto them, man. All right? That's what we're supposed to do. Prophesy unto these dry bones, all right? These, uh, 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 these wicked Israelites, man. All right? Who some are the elect. All right, we supposed to dry. We supposed to uh, 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 pre preach unto them so they may hear the word of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. Thus saith Yahweh, power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And that breath is the word of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, man. All right, you, 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 uh, 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 you, you. The Lord is gonna give you that understanding, and then you're gonna live. Okay. It says, and I will lay uh, sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh. Upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord, man. Huh. If you read um down to down to ten. Kind. Uh, keep reading ten. Kind. 
It says, uh, so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to bone, bone to like a bone to his bone. And when I had beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the have a power, come from the four winds, O breath. And breathe upon the slain that they may live. God. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came unto them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceedingly great, great army. army. That's right. So, hey, man, hey, we prophesy in this word unto the elect, man. By right? the hope we let that they uh, uh, that that we may stand upon our feet as a seemingly great army, man. And that's what you see uh, 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 these camps out here, man. All right, these Israelite camps, man. All right, they look like an exceedingly great army, man. All right, because we have because we have preached this word through your whole body, Shemiah Shai, unto all of these people, and our people are waking up, man. All right, our people are waking up to the to the fact that they uh, that they are Israelites, man. All right, and when the elect gets sealed through the true doctrine of your whole body, Shemiah Shai, man, then the end is gonna come, man. All right, not not through Christianity, not through Buddhism, not through uh, 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 all these other weird religions and shit, man. All right, only through the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, which is taught through the men of Great Millstone. First and foremost, our elders, man. All right, our apostles, man. Uh, it says, Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are cut off. We, it's like, we are cut off for our parts. Therefore, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you to the land of Israel, man. And the Lord's going to put that spirit back into us as he has did, man, so we uh, get out of this spiritually dead form that we was in, man. And now that we know that we are the real Israelites, man, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, that's the real truth, man. That's right. You got something? Uh, nah, I ain't got All right, we can end it with this one right here. This is John 8 and 32. It says... Uh, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. That's right. Shall make you free, man. And this truth has made us free, man. We're not mentally enslaved to Esau, Edom no more, man. We're not walking around thinking America is the last go around, man. You just live and die in America, then you're done, man. We know that we are the princes and the gods of this earth, man. You know, and that's made us free, man. You know, physically we're still in bondage, but mentally, you know, we live and we dwell in wisdom with the Most High, man. You know. No, uh, with that man, we hope this is edifying. We're gonna give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakah, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Sight taste to all the other. I can't push this word, but choose sincerity and maturity. Shalom and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.